What's going on, everybody? It's David from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop. So park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button down below. Also, you can hit the description and check out my Patreon account. You, my friend, can become a Patreon supporter. All you got to do is click the link. You can recommend movies and music for me to watch. With that out of the way, today is a video about my Cobra Kai Season 4 predictions. All right? So we just finished Cobra Kai watched every episode, reviewed every episode. I had hella notes. It was fun. It was an amazing ride. And I still feel like that season was not as good as the other two, but it was still a great season. Now, with that being said, the season ends with John Kreese looking at a photo and he gets on the phone and he's talking to somebody saying like, you know what I mean? I need a favor. I think that this probably is linking to the fact that we're looking at the return of Terry Silver. Um, basically what happened based off of what we see at the end of season three, I think Terry Silver is a, is a reasonable person to, to go to. I feel like a lot of this season focused on a lot of wrapping up stuff from season from Karate Kid two. So it's only right that they look at more stuff from Karate Kid three and start pulling things from that. Right. Um, so I think that Terry Silver is going to be involved in this and either a, he's going to be someone training someone i think he's either gonna i think he's either gonna be a part of training robbie or the crew or he's gonna bring in somebody for, that he maybe his top fighter to ensure that cobra kai wins this upcoming tournament that's what i'm thinking right um so i think that this season season four might be more so focused on tying in things from karate kid three that's just what i think now um also the um i think the lineups for the fights that are going to be in season four especially in regards to the tournament i think that hawk is going to fight kyler who is the the asian guy who bullied him a lot i think that those two are going to get matched up um i think that's the beef the way that they set this up that's what's going to happen we're also going to get a sam versus tory rematch the way that they're setting up the season like i said it's that's the route they're going and then it's going to be miguel versus robbie uh, the rematch, <laughs> like I said, um, I think that when Miguel and Robbie fight, that what's going to end up happening is that Robbie's going to be instructed to hit Miguel. Maybe Miguel will get injured in the middle of the fight, very uh, karate kiddish, and and it's going to be something that was affected because of what Robbie did, so like his back or something like that. And I feel that Kreese is going to instruct him to, to hit him and to continue hitting him in that area. And I don't think Robbie's going to want to do that. I think Robbie is going to feel remorse and he's going to say, you know what? I don't think that this is the right thing to do. And I think that he's going to not, I think he's probably going to back out of Cobra Kai at that point. Uh, I think Hawk might wash Kyler. Uh, I, is he going to beat the shit out of him? Probably not, but I think that he's going to win that matchup. And uh, I also think uh, the Sam versus Toy rematch is going to be epic with uh, Sam pulling out the W at the end. Um, but the, I think those are the ones to keep an eye out for. And I think that's a really big po possibility that that's also going to happen. Uh, they're also going, I think that they're also going to finally bring in this idea of the blended Miyagi Do Cobra Kai mixture fighting style. Um, they've been hinting at it since the longest. I've noticed since season two. When they talk about, oh, Miyagi Do, all you guys do is defend. And uh, even in season one, all you guys do is defend. All Cobra Kai does is uh, uh, work on offense. So in order to find a superior fighting style, they're going to find a way to blend the offense with the defense. And it's kind of strange, too, because um, when Daniel went to Okinawa, I thought that what he learned from Chosen was going to be like, that's the offensive side to Miyagi, though. But I guess not, you know, but we'll see. But I really think that whoever masters the superior fighting style, which is the blend of Miyagi, though, and uh, the Cobra Kai technique, Where, whichever fighter, whether it's Miguel or um, Miguel, Hawk, or um, which I doubt is going to be Hawk, Miguel or Sam, let's keep it a buck here. <laughs> Whoever learns how to blend the two fighting styles between Miguel and Sam is going to be the tournament winner. That's who it is. Whoever blends that shit perfectly and learns the perfect flow of those things is going to be the winner. Um, I think that Tori and Robbie are going to get together. I think they're going to be the couple. They're going to be a power couple. Uh, and they are going to be asked to fight dirty against Miguel. I think, like I said, me, Robbie's going to be asked to fight dirty against uh, Miguel. He's not going to want to do it. Um, but let me see. Is there anything else I can think of? No, nah, not really. That's about it. Um, <laughs> so look, 
Those are the predictions that I'm going into, going into the next season with. I really think that those things are going to happen. You could book it, you could bank it, and if these things happen, you better come back to me. But like Davey said it first, all right? So with that being said, this is the end of my prediction video. Let me know your predictions. Tell me what you think is going to happen at the end of the season or be, what's going to happen next season. Tell me what you think. And until next time, this is Dave from the 80s and you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. I hope you guys hit the subscribe button on the way out. Until next time, adios.